Human trafficking has been in the news a lot lately, and it's still a subject that not many of us know a lot about. And joining us now is Carrie Taylor, as well as Melanie Starr, and they are going to be holding a conference here coming up to focus on the issue of human trafficking, how it relates to us right here in the Lima area. So I want to welcome you both to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the conference is also call, is called Break Every Chain. So let's talk about the conference and then we'll talk about really the issue itself if we okay. could. Sure, absolutely. Well, the conference kind of came about, um, started really a year ago as we were, Melanie had had a passion for this coming from Michigan here. And, um, and then I had entered in that scene with God stirring our hearts together and really realizing when you know it's here and it's slavery is happening right here um, in our neighborhoods how do you not address it how do you mm -hmm. not do anything about it and so we began to pray and God really led us to the idea of this conference called break every chain and so what this conference is about it's actually a dual purpose conference where on the one hand it's going to be addressing the reality of, uh, of human trafficking in our area. We've connected with Crime Victim Services and the Northwest Ohio Rescue and Restore Coalition. And so they're gonna be partaking that day as well and really addressing and sharing. They're on the front lines of this. They're the ones yeah. that are meeting these girls and trying to restore them mm -hmm. after they've come out of, of you know, the damaging uh, thing that tra sex trafficking is. And so, um, so they're gonna be there that day really sharing the awareness, but also uh, to address that how we can prevent it in yes. our young girls and how do we then restore. So it's going to kind of cover the gamut of that. Good. But as we investigate this issue, we really discovered that there is uh, a link between this whole idea of slavery and the fact that women of all ages anywhere yeah. can be enslaved to something. Sure. And we were not meant to live that way. God intended for us to live free. Mm -hmm. And so that is the dual purpose in this. So it will not only address human trafficking, but it will also be talking to women that are there about where are you enslaved and you weren't meant to stay that way. And Jesus offers freedom. And Melanie, um, Carrie mentioned that you recently moved from Michigan. Mm -hmm. Did you see a lot of it when you were up north in that state? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I actually learned about it there about a year before, or two years before we moved here. Okay. Um, after I had learned um, the signs and things like that, what to look for, I began to see it more. It began to be more apparent. You would see it um, in different places, downtown, things like that. So yeah, yeah, once you understand kind of what you're looking for, um, you can see it, it's, it's, it's all so around. it's so disturbing. Very. A and I, you know, the, the terminology that you use, slavery, mm -hmm. really is probably what we should use more often mm -hmm. because I think it gets right to the gut of, you know, what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, because it doesn't always have to be sexual slavery. It can be any labor, mm -hmm. um, anything like that. And mm -hmm. um, are you seeing it primarily with women then? Yes, a, a majority are women. Um, actually, in our area, the average age of a girl who is trafficked into that is 13. Oh. Yeah, and it's happening in our schools. Mm -hmm. um, in our so schools? In our mm -hmm. schools, yeah. In what form then? What? Well, do you want to address that? Yeah, there's several different ways that it can happen. Um, a lot of times the traffickers will come from larger cities um, and they will send boys in um, to date girls and then they'll kind of um, date for a while and then they will ask them to do them a favor and so they kind of get roped in that way. Um, and then pay them? And or? then mm -hmm, they might okay. say, um, I need you to sleep with this person over here or do some kind of sexual favor for a friend of mine okay. and so um, it'll start out like that and uh -huh. then they'll say okay now I need you to do it for this person over here okay. and then there'll be money exchanged and um, and then from there they're trapped they won't let them out and then it just kind of grows from that point. Mm -hmm. And are drugs typically involved? Uh, yeah I was just yep. gonna mention that that's one of the ways they get the girls to stay mm -hmm. and it's a, a form of uh, the addiction grows and grows and so even if a girl wanted out Physiologically, she's addicted right. to the drugs, and right. she needs those. And so, and there's that, that with the twisted form of love. You yeah. know, a lot of a lot of girls having extremely low self worth, which is one of the targets that 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 traffickers look for in a girl, is a low self worth or a loner. You know, somebody who doesn't 
have a good sense of who they are or mm -hmm. friendships um, because they, they are desperate for love. Well, and I think if we're honest with ourselves right now, too, it seems as if women, girls, young girls, are so confused about what we're supposed to be anyway right now. Mm -hmm. We have so many images coming at us, and so, um, you know, that confusion can lead to so many dangerous decisions. Mm -hmm. um, again, this is Saturday, March 21st, the Break Every Chain Conference. Everyone is invited? Women. It's a women's It's a conference. women's only, yes. okay. Um, but teenagers on up, we're really encouraging young uh, people to come, young women. And part of that is they're on the front lines. They're That's the right. ones that rub shoulders with those that might be in a trafficking situation. And um, we really want them to know we're behind them. And so will there be counselors on site? Because I'm sure that you could open some wounds. And yes. Yes. And yes, we've already got yeah. some counselors lined up to be there, um, okay. some prayer teams. We actually have quite a few people from the community. A lot of community agencies are taking part, and okay. there will be representatives there um, and vendors from the whole area. Do we need tickets? Yes. Yes. Um, the, there are four drop-off locations for donations. That's instead of paying for a ticket, we're asking that you donate um, to the Crime Victim Services, um, which is also the Northwest Ohio Rescue and Restore Coalition. Okay. So um, there's four drop-off places, and you can take your um, donations, which are hygiene and therapeutic type oh. things, or gift cards. Um, um, Walmart cards, things like sure. that, that you can drop off, and then you'll pick up your ticket. Um, those places are Lima Community Church, mm -hmm. this one, um, the UNOH Event Center, mm -hmm. um, In Faith Ministries, In Faith Ministries and church. Shawnee Alliance Church. Okay. Um, and then you can also, for students and teachers, um, Lima Senior is another drop off location. Great. Ladies, thank you very much, Carrie and Melanie, for being with us and for taking the time to work on this event, and I wish you the very best. Thank you so much. All right. Back to you.